Well, today I'm out on my uh, 2010 Curry e-bike. Uh, it's the e-zip. The uh, Juliet, I'm waiting for a crank arm to come tomorrow. So, because I bent that one and then that wreck. So, or accident. So, this one's a bit more difficult to pedal, but I wanted to get out at least. Going a little stir crazy. So if you notice on this one, there's no like miles per hour display or anything like that. All you've got is your twist throttle or your pass setting. And there's no different pass settings, just the one. So. Hope you can see that, it's right here. But it tries to help. <laughs> It's a 250 watt geared motor that's outside of the frame. The gear works on the opposite side of the uh, rear sprockets. I've got another video describing it. The uh, sensor for the pass, it takes about what, one and a half rotations of the pedals in order to kick in. It's a uh, 24 volt motor with a 10 amp hour battery. So it's still the original battery. A little chilly today. It's 42 degrees and and uh, I don't know, a little windy. This bike has a. Uh, front suspension with a uh, seat post suspension on it. But it's your uh, classic bicycle design. 26 inch wheels and A seven speed cassette with the uh, twist with a twist gear selector. I'm not a huge fan of these. After I finish that ride, what's today, Wednesday, so it was on the 25th, I believe. When I finished that ride the other day, I, that first ride coming back from the accident, I ended up going to the hospital to have my wrist checked out, and they ended up uh, x-ray in it and it looks like it's fine it's just a sprain and then the uh, road rash he gave me some antibiotics just in case kind of stupid of me I waited 11 days to have him take a look but 
Fortunately, there was no brake. Just me being a stupid guy waiting to get help. <laughs> or checking to see that there's nothing wrong. Pretty gray this morning, but now it's just cloudy. That's nice. The rest of this week, it's supposed to get up into the 60s, so I'll be able to get out more. Hopefully, tomorrow, I'll get out with Bongo. Friday is his uh, 14th gotcha day, so 14 years since he's been in my life. So that'll put him at 15 years old sometime later this year. I don't know what day he was born, so we'll just go with this gotcha day. I need to try and put that other mirror on this bicycle. We'll just go where it's not very busy traffic though. See if I can get down this way by the highway. It was closed the other day when I went by here. I don't think I had any usable footage from that day. So it's one where I gave, was trying to give you guys a tour of the Grand Park Sports Complex over here. But to do that some other day. Definitely feeling that sprain in that left wrist though. been pretty good so it's getting better the doctor gave me some exercises to work on it so hopefully those help Hopefully there's not a huge amount of highway noise. I'm trying slightly different microphone setup again. I know the other one's working, but I tried to get a media mod that allows you to charge through it and then also run a headphone jack through it. So hopefully that's one less piece of equipment I'll have to carry all the time. But the audio recorder does do well when it's placed under my shirt like I had been, so if I have to, I'll keep using it. 
and there may be other uses for it someday too so we'll just see sure if the sidewall runs through all the way here or not. We'll have to see. This is a exit ramp for the highway. So. I'm not a huge fan of the pass setup on this. You can't use the throttle at the same time unless you've actually started pedaling. So, you gotta switch back and forth between them if you wanna do anything different. This bike, and I think in most states, would be considered a class two. The throttle will take you up to about, I don't know, about 15 miles an hour or thereabouts. I haven't tested how fast the uh, pass takes you up, but probably not further than that. sure if this continues on all the way to the uh, Monon or not. If it does, that'll be new. Oh, I guess they've got a Starbucks here. That's new. We'll start adding a lot more commercial buildings right through here probably to help service the Grand Park Sports Complex and the other large neighborhoods that they've added. any of you are from Westfield or have been, this road is 191st Street. The highway we were by, that's behind me now is US 31 and we're headed west. So. to record the workout so we'll do that this is considerably more exercise than the Juliet <laughs> yeah this may actually go all the way to the run on that's pretty cool one more way for me to go
Phenomenon's right there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it up towards Sheridan. like I need to adjust that rear brake. A little bit too much squeeze coming in. Yeah, my knee's feeling it a bit from that accident, so can go a little easy. into a really nice day. Man. like they put some flags out. I don't know what they're going to dig. Hopefully they don't shut down the trail for a while. I was really wanting to make a video of the end to end from the north all the way to the southern end of the uh, Monon here. Sometime soon. Just feeling it. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear it, but the pedal assist is like continuously working at the speed I'm going. So I don't know how much the range will be today. first time I took this one out this year I was able to get up all the way to Sheridan and back and it was just barely in half of what it shows the battery range was really need to get another seat for this one too. The uh, Brooks saddle that I put on the uh, Juliet, I took off of this and then I put the Juliet seat on this. But like I've said before, I'm not a huge fan of the wide seats. At least not this one. It kind of has pressure in spots that I'm not a fan of. If any of you know a wider seat that's affordable or, you know, $30, $40 range, let me know. Hello. So I would greatly appreciate it. I know the e-bikes that are more set up as a scooter or have the higher power so you don't pedal all the time. Those are probably more suited to the bigger seats. Uh-oh, I think that 
barricades up here. Now oh, it's probably construction for that neighborhood. Hopefully. I guess also, if you guys would, let me know any spots that you'd like to see me go in the kind of greater Indianapolis area. Specifically ones that I can bicycle to. And then continue to bicycle and show you it. like this section of the Monon though. It's nice and quiet like one of the other people said in the comments of one of my other videos. It's peaceful. Lots of cardinals flying around. So if you guys are still watching, I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. This might be one of my more boring videos, but <laughs> not a whole lot of change in speed and scenery. probably be redoing the uh, Midland Trace end-to-end -end video also. The wind on it was horrible. Of course, the wind on a lot of my videos is horrible. But it's getting better. When I was editing the video from... I don't even know what day it is when it was on the 25th when I took the ride. It was super, super windy that day. And how I had the, the microphone set up and stuff, it did just great, so. May stick with that setup, and may stick with this one today. We'll see. YouTube's definitely a learning experience. I'm a little slow learning now. Didn't used to be. Let up and see if I can maintain that speed or not. weird this neighborhood I've been here through here several times it's a really big nice neighborhood but this playground I don't think I've ever seen anybody playing on it
I think that one's a gated community too. Maybe it's busier on the weekends. I don't really get out much on the weekends. For the 14 years that I've owned this bike, this year I finally figured out how to adjust the steering stem, which is ridiculous, but because it used to completely numb my wrist riding this, it's doing a lot better today. I've never been a huge fan of the, you know, leaning down kind of racing position on a bicycle. So. Wish I would have learned that before I bought my the Gary Fisher racing mountain bike that I had. It was a fun bike though. In that video where I had the accident, for some reason I had said to those kids when I wrecked, it's the first time I had wrecked a bicycle and honestly I think almost everything or everything that I've ever had on two wheels I've dropped standing still or have laid it down repeatedly 